a great win here. We got the New York Knickerbockers in this one. Land four points at the house. This is the Sunday game uh, versus the Miami Heat in this one. Getting back plus four on the road. If you would like to go the money line route, the Knicks are laying minus 170 on the money line in this one. Or you can get back plus 150 with the Heat if you think they can get, a, get the outright win over or under. Sitting at 207 and a half in this one. Uh, Josh, what do you think happens in this one, my brother? Uh, Heat? Come out shooting some some really great shooting games, all liars in my opinion. But we'll see if they can keep it going up. Mainly Jimmy Butler, they hadn't been able to stop him here. Do you think that the Knicks? We know that I need to see what's up with Grimes because it looked like he kind of separated his shoulder. He's probably their best defender outside of Josh Hart. We need to see what's up with him because I think that they could mean huge on the series to guard Jimmy Butler. Yeah, definitely could. But I mean, at the same time, if Drew couldn't stop. Jimmy Butler, uh, as good a defender as Grimes is, I'm not sure he's going to have much to say either. It's just going to come down to what Jimmy can do with the ball. Uh, But I really don't know what to expect from this series. This is one that's an absolute head-scratcher for me. I've been low on the heat all season long. Uh, I like the Knicks, but I don't think we learned much from them in that Cleveland series. The Cavs just look like deer in headlights throughout the entire playoffs. They just simply weren't ready, and I think all of their flaws got exposed very, very quickly by uh, this Knicks team. So I don't know what to expect from the series, but I do think that game one in particular and potentially the rest of the series as well, if we're going to keep getting a number this low, that total is, uh, for me, a few points shy of where it should be. I think we're getting to take advantage of what was an absolute rock fight in that Knicks-Cavs series. Um, But I I wouldn't expect the same thing in this one. Just Miami's, the way that they've run their offense, I know it was probably matchup dependent, but a lot of perimeter action, a lot of motion and off-ball action, uh, that should generate some really good looks on this Knicks defense, which showed itself to be excellent defending the paint. Uh, But they always have that Achilles heel on the perimeter where they do have to give something up. And it is a lot of wide open looks there. So if Miami are again knocking their shots down from deep, this one should sail over. I think we also see the Knicks offense being a little bit more successful as well, Uh, having to not deal with the Mobley and Allen duo inside. Bam, as good as he can be at times, um, he's not going to be able to do it all himself inside there. So for me, give me the Knicks, uh, I think, for the series. But I don't say that with a ton of confidence. Um, But I do officially like the uh, over in this one. I played the over 206.5. It's moved a little bit. Uh, I have this one closer to 209 personally. So I think there's some pretty good value here on the total until they start moving that one up. The Knicks are winning this series, man. I think the Heat – I'll tell you this. I like Drew Holiday, but my guy is getting old. I believe he's like 34, 35 now. This, you're, you're not the same defender. You don't have the same lateral foot speed. You don't have the same stamina as well. So I love Drew Holiday, but he's nowhere near the same defender as he was there. So uh, Jimmy's going to have a lot bigger. And I just – they just weren't coached well, simply put it there, Alex. But <clears throat> I think the Knicks win this series for sure. I think the Heat's luck run out. Jimmy Butler's still a baller. Double Tim him, make the rest of the team beat you. We know their shooters don't really play the same on the road. Uh, Julius Randle's health is not the best, right? So you got to worry about that. But no, neither is Bam Adebayo. This is a smaller team. Mitchell Robinson's to eat on his uh, rebounds in this one. Even Hardenstein coming off the bench. This is a Knicks series. It probably it could go seven games, but the Knicks are winning this series. Alex, what do you think about this game? It's going to be really tough. I mean, so you think about Miami. Their most nights going to have the, their every night they're going to have the best player on the floor, and a lot of nights they're going to have the two best players on the floor. Assuming Bam's healthy and kind of doing his thing. Um, you think about, you know, Josh, I like his point. You know, he's not going to have to go against Mobley and Allen of those guys, but Mitchell Robinson is not going to get five, six offensive rebounds every single game in this series. Miami is going to keep him out. That's just a team thing they do. Spolster is going to find a way to limit him. And I wonder how this New York offense is going to look once you start to take away some of that easy stuff, some of those momentum baskets. Now, I think the pace here in this series is going to be a lot quicker. I'm with Josh. I like the over here. I had it closer to 210. Both these teams have shown a proclivity to run up and down the floor and maybe Miami just keeps making threes I mean this is not this is not a better defensive team than the Milwaukee Bucks the matchups aren't necessarily going to be any harder for some of these guys and I think it's going to be a really interesting series I'm curious to see kind of how it it, it flows the longer it goes the better it is for Miami the longer the series goes Spolster's going to figure some stuff out here but I think it starts fast and if New York can steal game one or game two Knicks and six is definitely a thing no, that's a good point there. Definitely have the better coach. But I, I can't say Tibbs has done – I mean, he's not a rookie coach. He's no effing Budenholz or a bigger staff, right? So I, I can't say – I don't really think it's that much of a coaching difference because Spolstra has been in there for a while. But 
don't even think he has the team, man. If but like this, this is their team. Jimmy Butler doing what he's doing, right? So we know that it's kind of like Brunson doing what he's doing for the Knicks. But if they need Struce, they need Vincent, and one of the guys coming off the bench to be huge and making threes, whether that's either Lowry or Duncan Robinson. And I'm just I I don't know if we can depend on that every single game, man. I think that they had a, the Bucks number. Obviously, it was a horrible coach. Then Giannis was um first off, Giannis, man. I don't know. I'm MVP. Come on, man, stop it. I mean, Josh. We, what were we doing? I know they were talking about Giannis being MVP, but where where was he though? Like, I mean, MVP can't even shoot. He can't even shoot free throws. Get the get get out of here with this shit, man. I'm sorry, man, but um, I don't want to hear no Giannis for MVP. I'm sorry, bro, because you just got you're the number one seed and got four one. Get the get out of here with this shit. But Knicks don't are winning this Milwaukee, series. Jay. Don't ever go to Milwaukee. He's he's leaving. He's leaving. Just matter, I'm saying you don't man, go. But, I'm worried about your safety. Stay out of Milwaukee. Man, Giannis got to get a jump shot and work on them free throws, man. Um, I I can make. 30 straight free throws, man. But uh, regards to that, Knicks for me, um, I didn't bet this game yet, but I like Knicks in this series. I like them to win game one as well. But our guy Josh, take the over 207.5 and, and our guy Noops as well, over 207.5 in this one. Let's